Hello, everybody, and welcome to the latest issue of Comic Book Gentlemen. I'm your host, Greg, uh, joined o- always by my co-host, Dave. How are you doing, Dave? Very well, thank you. Yeah, good to hear. Uh, so, yeah, this is the podcast for everything comic book nerdy. We're going to deep dive into some of uh, the latest topics and, and headlines. So, a couple episodes ago, Dave, we discussed uh, Marvel. They're restarting, uh, not restarting, but they're actually finally having a new X-Men team for uh, the Dawn of X era and whatnot. So, we kind of went over, like, who we... Who we wanted on the team and who, uh, mm-hmm. who we thought would be a good fit. So Marvel has officially announced their their roster. But the other thing they announced is that for their big event in uh, June, they're they're now anou- officially announcing the whole roster through the Hellfire Gala. Uh, yes. Have you heard anything about the Hellfire Gala coming up? Just just uh, that it's it's uh, obviously the launch, and uh, there's a lot of interesting outfits. Yeah, so that's the other thing that Marvel has announced is that the Hellfire Gala is what they're uh, portraying as the Met Gala of the Marvel Universe. So this is something I don't think has ever happened in Marvel Comics, that they're like having a huge fashion no. fashion focused on anything. So that's really cool. No. Uh, but Dave, do you know anything about fashion? I know zero. <laughs> okay, so I want to say i know a little bit but i think my wife wouldn't uh agree with that so because dave and i know nothing about fashion uh we've actually brought in a guest uh all the way from my house my wife whitney <laughs> whitney say hello hello world hello world so yeah our, our second guest ever on comic book gentlemen uh so yeah hellfire gala is supposed to be a big fashion event of the season uh we brought in a fashion expert uh, to I go over it, we're going to kind of discuss like the outfits, what we liked, what we don't like. There's a lot, uh, so we'll see mm. how many we go through. But uh, first of all, Whitney, what is your experience with comic books? Um, whatever Greg mutters to me after he's read one or in the middle of a Marvel movie, he has to pause it and be like, this is why, this is important, and that little thing, that's all I know, is just what Greg <laughs> relays to me and what I catch on to. <laughs> Excellent. Yeah, the one you have, I've, I've forced you to read a couple. Yeah, I've read volume one and half of volume two of Squirrel Girl. Dave's favorite <laughs> comic book character. Top top of the list. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so and then uh, I, think I, that's it. I think one other one I forced you to read when we first started dating was Batman in, in the Wonderland or something like that. It was like Well, a, I read Batman year one. Oh, yeah, I forced you to read the that. Batman in Wonderland, I did read, yes. But that's. See, yeah, I. I, I I, I went dark when I made my wife read a comic series. Really? What and I went with Wolverine Origin. Oh no! <laughs> Why? Because I thought it was it was uh, the art was fantastic, the writing was good. She was familiar with Wolverine. Yeah. I I would like to note she's never read a comic since. <laughs> you just like. Send her in the deep end. If you don't like it here, yeah. hey, you're done swimming. You know, <laughs> yeah, thing. basically. So we'll we'll hopefully one day find a topic that she's interested in in joining in on. But for now, <laughs> uh, we have us being the comic experts. We have Whitney being the fashion mm-hmm. expert. So I've mm-hmm. gone through all of these because I had to compile them. Dave, have you taken a quick gander at any of the fashion? You know what? I I, I did. Uh, I kind of scrolled through them all kind of quickly just to get familiar with who who was there. Mm-hmm. And then other than that, I turned it off. Okay. Sweet. So it's just gonna be it's just gonna be in the moment. Perfect. So Whitney also hasn't seen them. So what we'll do Excellent. is we'll, we'll go through them, uh, and then yeah, you guys will just give your opinions. Dave from a comic book fan perspective, Whitney from a fashion perspective, and we'll just see how it goes. Uh, obviously, this is more of a visual medium, so it's kind of mm-hmm. weird to do this as a podcast. We highly encourage people to check out our YouTube uh, at youtube.com slash fake mustache. It's where I have all my comic book gentlemen, or just search comic book mm-hmm. gentlemen on YouTube. Or if you want, in the description, I will have a link to a news article that will have all the pictures as well. But we will, for now, just go through them. We'll mention the name of the character and, and what yeah. we think of, of them. So, yeah, let's start off with this. And, yeah, at the end of the podcast, uh, Dave and I will then discuss what we think of the new X-Men team and uh what we think they did wrong so there we go so yeah let's get into the fashion mm-hmm. so the first one i have a bunch of male characters first and they're all just alphabetical so okay first up is angel yeah, yeah so <laughs> it's it's something <laughs> yeah I, I you know when i saw this one i was like oh angel dressed up as himself yeah basically right <laughs> there wasn't there's wasn't, there wasn't much here it was i mean i'm seeing him wear similar type things I mean, I have no idea who it is, but it's a look 
Yeah. That's for sure. Yeah. Like, so when you when you talk about like Met Gala, the only thing I've ever mm-hmm. seen about Met Gala is usually the women's fashion. Mm-hmm. Like, is there usually mm-hmm. a lot of men's Met? Oh fa- yeah, yeah. Is it a lot. is it like half naked six packs? I mean, sometimes <laughs> it just depends. Yeah. But I, I this to me does say Met Gala esque. Oh, okay. Like, it's very mm-hmm. weird, which is a lot of. <laughs> high fashion is kind of pushing the limits. So, yeah. I mean, but also he's just wearing like a trouser with a cape. Yeah. So, well, it's not like that. Yeah, it, I, uh, yeah. when I saw this one, I was kind of like compared especially to some of the others, I thought it was pretty, pretty basic. Mm-hmm. Pretty basic. Yeah, and I will admit, there's especially for the men's side of the fashion, there's a lot of basic ones. Like there's a lot of guys just mm-hmm. wearing tuxes or suits, which is yeah. which is mediocre. And especially considering how Marvel is trying to push us as like the Met Gala. And not only that, it's like the mutant Met Gala. So it's supposed to be like this new age of fashion mm-hmm. and a new... Because like, I guess one thing we'll, we'll tell Whitney that I forgot to mention is like the way, where X-Men are right now is they're actually starting their own country. And their oh. own society. So they're starting their own religion. They have their own language. They have their own culture and art and all this stuff. Oh. So this is supposed to be their b- big foray into uh, fashion now. But like, you, then you look at this and it's like, uh, you know, you probably see this, you know, in humans, right? Other than the wings. So. I, I mean, I don't know. It's not something you'd see walking on the street. I guess. That's true. It is yeah. fashion dog. <laughs> <laughs> and I mean, yes. if you have... Uh, a body like that? Why not show it off? <laughs> That's fair. Uh, yeah, right. Would you? Have and he does. He does Quite have frequently. a body like that. <laughs> and, and if you don't have a body, and he like shows that, it off. Feel free to show it off. That's too. true. That's very true. Mm-hmm. We're bo- body positive here. <laughs> you show off whatever you got. Uh, Dave, would you prefer yes. if it was more Archangel than Angel? Oh, by far. Yeah, uh, Archangel is so cool. Personal preference. <laughs> Yeah, I just think because I like Archangel, but like, like I said, this one just kind of, I was expecting maybe like a, uh, like a halo or like just something a little more grandiose. This looks like something like if you're reading a regular X-Men comic and they went to go wake up Angel, this is what he would roll out of bed wearing <laughs> because yeah, this mentioned. is just, yeah, it does. He, I get the bottoms like pajama yeah. bottom. Maybe that's yeah. a blanket. And it, he Maybe. just clipped it together. <laughs> yeah. Who knows? So yeah. kind of kind of a boo on Angel, but let's go to the next yeah. one. See, Thumbs yeah. down. Thumbs on down to that. So another basic one. Uh, we have Beast. Uh, obviously, mm. it's like I said, it's very basic. I mean, you have to accommodate for his bestial figure. So maybe this is the best they could do. But when you're talking fashion, mm-hmm. you're not you're not getting too much out of out of this one. I don't know. He's wearing shorts. I think that's kind of cool. I you guess. don't see a lot of men wearing shorts that like dressed up. <laughs> Formal, formal, formal shorts. shorts. <laughs> yep, yep, yep. Would you would you wear formal yeah, I shorts, think, Dave? Uh, yeah, I have worn formal shorts. <laughs> I mean, there's a time and a place. <laughs> that's great. Mm-hmm. Maybe their new country is very hot. Maybe yeah, that's true. It's probably tropical. Mm-hmm. And he yeah. looks like he'd be warm. I, I I really felt this one again pretty pretty basic, but it did kind of the way they designed it, obviously. Uh, tried to show off his features, which are his large hands and his large feet, and not the, you know, not to gloss over the fact that he's blue and furry. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, I kind of celebrate his. It's not trying to hide it; it's like celebrating. Because mm-hmm. no. you think about like no. in X Men Last Stand, uh, when Kelsey Grammer was Beast. I mean, he was wearing a mm-hmm. full full suit, and you could only see his face. Was the only time you could see his mutant power. So this yeah. is definitely a lot better than that when it comes to showcasing his mutant. Um, yeah, and as far as as far as characters I go, like uh, this would be kind of what I I guess expect out of Beast. It's very, you know, reserved, practical. Yeah, I wouldn't expect Beast to be the one that's like I'm RuPaul, you know, type of thing. So <laughs> he looks very like no, no. the leader of a mafia with his slick back hair and the way it like, does <laughs> <Yes>. like the. <laughs> well, I mean, considering what he's doing Agreed. in X Force, that actually is kind of <laughs> that does work for him. Oh, so there, there you go. go. Okay, but yeah, there's B, so it's kind of middle of, middle yeah. of the pack type of yeah, thing. Same. Nothing nothing to write home about. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, next one is Colossus. No. Oh Whoa. my gosh. <laughs> Hot damn. Yeah. <laughs> okay, when you take this one. <laughs> Love. Yeah. Love. What is this? I can't tell. Is this his chest showing or is that a part of So that's the his garment? chest showing. His, his power is he's yeah. full metal skin type oh. of thing. Oh. Oh, cool. That- you remember Deadpool? No. That's, okay. Okay. Well, <laughs> you, did, you did watch it until you just blurred it from your memory. But, I had my eyes closed most of the time. But yeah, his suit, his his mutant power is he can make a skin yeah, full steel. This is 
This is a toot. This is yeah. good. I love the fur, the chain, the mm-hmm. way the cape has like the little armholes, so he's like functional arms. But yeah, I think this is hot. Yeah, I I I, I would have to agree on this. I, I thought this was one of the better ones. Uh, he it, it looks great. I like the design and kind of almost gives you that uh, that kind of almost like um, definitely because he is Russian that mm-hmm. Russian feel, yep. but it also, it's almost like, like a vampire. Yeah. <laughs> like something a vampire would wear. Yeah. I but I, that. but I liked the, you know, the, the bold choice of showing off the chest, you know, having a, that, that deep cut, uh, and, and uh, the colors and the, the whole scheme. I, I actually really liked this one. I thought it was pretty, pretty cool. I love the beard too. I don't know if yeah. anytime he's ever had it. So it's, it's also weird that his beard goes through his skin. If it's steel yeah. skin, but I guess that his hair has done that for years. But uh, I love the beard. I don't think he's ever had a beard in comics. Or can you remember a time? Yeah, he ha- he has okay. had one, but dude, yeah, not it's it's not been something that he's that he's always had. The other thing I was going to mention about this is we talked about this our first episode where you thought uh, Mister Sinister looked a lot like Coloss- Evil Colossus with yes. Mark Sylvester. This reminds yes. this looks like he's trying to be Mister Sinister <laughs> a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, you know, when I saw this one, I was like, oh, is that Mister Sinister or mm-hmm. is it? Or is it Colossus? And I was like, I hope it's Colossus because this, like, Mr. Sinister, if this was Mr. Sinister, it's like Mr. Sinister light. Yeah, 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 yeah. This is like, <laughs> like, early like he days. toned it, like he toned it down a little. Which we this will, is like a step up for Colossus. Yeah, so. which we do have Mr. Sinister in this list. So we'll get there eventually yeah. and we'll see what yeah. compares. The other thing that's funny about this, I don't know if you guys heard about this, it was actually trending on Twitter or Instagram, one of the two, uh, Sexy Colossus, and this is why. Yeah. Yeah. I can see that. Yeah. yeah. The other thing that cracks me up is the arms have, like, a sheer uh, sleeve to it, which is very Euro yes. trash to me, which cracks me up again, the the, yeah. the Russian aspect to it. So, yeah, the big, big yeah, thumbs up would, to Colossus. I would see this. Yeah. He would see this at the Met Gala. Yeah. This is, like, to me, Met Gala on point. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Perfect. So, yeah, big, big thumbs up to Colossus. So, next one, my oh, my gosh, Cyclops. So, <laughs> I, I, we all know, listeners of the podcast know how much I hate Cyclops. What a tool. Maybe, maybe I'm wrong here. This, to me, looks like he's trying to be a Power Ranger fanboy. And, it, like, he's trying to be fashionable, but he comes off as a Power Ranger fanboy type guy. Like, it, I can't stand this at all. I agree. It's yeah, not it's good. bad. It just, it doesn't look fashion. It looks like a traditional superhero suit. Like, yeah. I don't see how it's different. Like, I don't, any, personally. It, it kind of reminded me of something kind of cross between something 80s yep. mm-hmm. meets Back to the Future 2 when they went into the future. Yeah, and Doc had the Like, glasses. something you would see those guys wearing, yeah, like yeah. The, with the visors and stuff. Yeah, this one was just like, if, I mean, in fact, if, if we were like, if if in the comic they were like, hey, we're going out on a mission and Cyclops come out wearing this, they'd probably send them right back to, to get changed. <laughs> like this, this was like, this was just bad right across the board. Yeah, this was like 2099 Cyclops or something yeah. like that. Like just like he's trying to be future instead of fashionable and just looks super, super stupid. Or like you said, yeah. like this is what the 80s thought the future would. We'd all be wearing yeah, this. Yeah, exactly. Like it, it reminds me so much of Back to the Future 2 yeah. where, you know, you're thinking from the 80s perspective what the future will look like and this is this is torn right out of the pages the one thing i will mention is i'm glad they did something different with his visor at least a little bit different because i feel like most of the times you see cyclops at a at a like when he's wearing a tux and whatnot he just wears red sunglasses like that's yeah usually how they get around it but the fact they actually like did something a little bit different was nice but other Mm -hmm. than that it just looks like a a regular costume so So i I don't know why they haven't uh, why they haven't gone as far as trying to find a way to give him like red like contact lenses yeah that'd be cool. <laughs> mm-hmm. or something or but, like, because it's always it's always the visor the visor's been like big and bulky and ugly and then it's been like really small yeah and this one is just like hey we want to be all kinds of wrong it's just bad <laughs> i just feel like the like i disagree with you greg i think oh, that no? the, it just looks like snowboarding goggles they <laughs> don't look good and they no. could have done something very fashion like glasses I- like 
even shaped like a glasses instead of the straight across. Like yeah. anything could have been better. I'm not saying they look good. I'm just saying it's <laughs> different. <laughs> this is one of those things you see down the road. It's like, that's a choice. <laughs> yeah, it looked like, very 80s. It, if they would have given him like some huge Elton John glasses. Would yeah, have been, like you know, something. Just something. something. It looks like 80s yeah. snowboard. Like, like yeah. or ski, it does. Like, does. Feel it. Okay. Yeah. And so, so does the outfit. Yeah, so yeah. does the, yeah. You just, you'll yeah. see him on the Al- Alps. Yeah, yeah. Boot, they said silent. gala. They they said gala. He heard snowboarding. <laughs> yeah, he's like, we're not going to the mountains, <laughs> bro, bro. <laughs> yeah, bro. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. Next up, we have Gambit. Uh, yeah. So our sexy French uh, Louisiana man. Um, mm-hmm. Yeah. I again, very similar to Angel. I find where it's just like, hey, yeah. I have a six pack, and like, yeah. that's about it. Like, what do you think, babe? This reminds me of the, there was like a time in the two, earlier 2000s where men's fashion had a lot of that like dragon, like swirl, mm. those like button up mm. little polo t-shirt things yep. and it had that on the side. So to me, it just looks not out of, like not old enough to be cool again and not anywhere near what's trending now so it's just <laughs> bad yeah and yep. i i don't think it's good it reminds me and this is super obscure reference but mm-hmm. coach from survivor yeah 100 <laughs> and he wore those shirts <laughs> yeah the guy who thinks he's cool yeah but then you're yeah. just watching him like man you're a dork man <laughs> yeah dave what do you yeah. think yeah I, w- I was not a fan of this again um you know i think his i think his superhero outfit is more stylish than this mm. Uh, or the, the the many different versions of it. This one was just kind of boring. It was like uh, I threw on a, a trench coat type, you know, cape, and uh, again with the you know pajama pants looking looking thing. Mm-hmm. I, it was just it was it was bare. It was yeah. just like, hey, I'm uh, I'm 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 in shape. I have abs. <laughs> Let yeah. me show them off. Yeah, and yeah, like you were saying, his superhero yeah. outfit is so cool. And then you have this, mm-hmm. and it's like, ah, oh, you yeah. could have done so much more with him. So unfortunately, yeah. down for Gambit. Yeah. Uh, next one is Iceman. So Iceman, oh. very interesting. Uh, recently, in the comic books uh, mm-hmm. came out as gay. So I feel yep. like what they were trying to do was very like RuPaul's Drag Race type of like just extravaganza type of thing, but with ice. But what do you think about that? It definitely has like that gender bend vibe. I yep. think it's actually really cool. I like the like uh, platform shoe thing, um, the cool like chess piece, but having like the like train come from the mm-hmm. waist i think this is cool i think i agree it does a very drag queen look like that cinched waist and train very yeah yeah I, he could do a death drop in that yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. let's see him lip sync yeah, yeah, yeah let's go mm-hmm. the one thing i again i don't know what they have with visors but i think the visors are taken away with them like why 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 did you need yeah. that no. or am i wrong on that one uh, I yeah I could do with or without they don't really bother me. This was exactly what I was expecting as far as a gala, uh, you know, is something something bold. It was creative. Uh, kind of spoke to the direction of the character. Um, I, I I really really like this, and of course it's probably I like when I first saw it I was like oh did he like create that out of out of ice or is that actually something he's wearing I'm not sure got got it, it was very curious i i really like this one this was something that i was expecting to see mm. Mm, yeah this reminds me of frozen when <laughs> elsa <laughs> creates her whole like she goes with her ice powers and she has that whole new look like that's like <laughs> oh it's level up now. Yep. <laughs> man i i can picture Iceman like on the edge of kokoa just going let it go let it go <laughs> and, like making a dress and whatnot That'd be pretty great yeah. So yeah, though this one's really interesting. Definitely, when you when you think mutant fashion, this is kind of what the direction you think you're gonna go, as yeah. opposed to like tuxedos and yeah. Suits and it and has that Met Gala like look of like mm-hmm. obscure but cool. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. Nice. So yeah, good job, Iceman. Magneto. So I mean, Magneto's interesting because like he's an older gentleman. Uh, I mean, he's definitely had some interesting fashion choices throughout the decades of. Uh, being in existence, but what were you gonna say, babe? No, like this is like Magneto, like the guy Michael Fassbender. What? But this is him old. So in the column books, oh. he's always been old. Oh, okay. Like in the it yeah. was the only in in um uh first class when they made him young. Okay, so I was picturing this as that actor. Oh really? In this, <laughs> and I'm like, what? This is more like um uh Gandalf. 
uh, oh. that actor oh, okay. type of thing. Okay. I mean, like, like, I, like, you gotta agree with me, Dave. Like, he's had some interesting costumes throughout the years. Yeah, he's had some some good ones. <laughs> yeah, and then he's had some some really bad ones. This one here, I was just like, it kind of like, I don't know, Victorian kind of, uh, I I don't know, rich, pompous. <laughs> like it, it spoke a little bit to his character, but I was just, yeah, I was I was really kind of disappointed about this one. It um, I can't unsee it, but it just looks like the Monopoly guy. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, fair enough. And it's fair just enough. I don't if know. he was richer somehow. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And I think the only thing that makes it very gala different is the tapestry kind of strewn around his arm and shoulder. Yeah. Eh, to me, it's cute. I kind it kind of reminds me of like a general. Like he mm-hmm. kind of looks like his badges on his suit jacket and whatnot. So maybe it's supposed to be like an old general type of guy. It, it kind of spoke a little bit to the uh, the House of M. Mm, yep. Yeah, a little bit, that. but 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 yeah, it was just, it was again, I, definitely not my favorite. I, I just kind of felt like, like yeah, we all know Magneto is kind of pompous, and they were like, let's take that and magnify it by a hundred. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Yeah, he's definitely looking rich. <laughs> yeah, it's not the worst thing. <laughs> no, but it's no. just like mm, cute. No, just that's a, that's yeah. a yeah. man to make me do. Okay, here's Mr. Sinister. Yeah. So, like, does he not look almost exactly the same as Klaus is just extra as hell? <laughs> you know, when I saw this, I was like, what's the difference? Yeah, other than there's no Because, yeah, like, he's, <laughs> his, 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 he, th- this is pretty much the same thing he wears. <laughs> yeah, that's very true. All the time. So, yeah, Mr. Sinister, yeah. babe, uh, is a super crazy uh, mutant scientist. Like, he's very famous for just cloning everybody and everything he mm-hmm. possibly can and, like, mixing and matching. But he, Messing he, with genetics. Messing with genetics. He, like, yeah. it was great in House of X and Powers of Ten when they introduced Mr. Sinister because it was just an island of him and he was just constantly killing himself multiple times. And yeah. So he's crazy. You just think, yeah. like, Mr. Sinister, yeah. you, hear, you think a crazy guy. But then what do you think of this outfit? Oh, well, hearing the description, yeah like evil genius kind of like ha 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 like that's just the vibe it also has that vampire feel like very dracula mm-hmm. um yeah to me it, it i don't love it i just think it's mm-hmm. very super villain it looks, super villain looking yeah, yeah like it doesn't look yeah. like fashion it just looks like a costume yeah but i mean like you could argue that is fashion but it i just don't care for it this one yeah yeah, I've I've seen them where things that I would say were more gala ish mm-hmm. than this. This just looks like like somebody like the artist went, "Oh, hey, uh, Mr. Sinister's going to show up as the bad guy, and guess what? He got a new suit." <laughs> yeah, that was it. That was it. Yeah, this, he reminds me of um, the sh- the guy from Shadow and Bone that we just watched. Oh yeah, the Darkling. The Darkling. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. That yeah. No, I feel that. Yeah. But yeah, definitely, definitely. Um, again, a middle of the pack type of thing. And Cyc- yeah. and the fact that Colossus looks so similar and doesn't look so much better. It's like Colossus did it better. You know, type of thing. Yeah. So the, sorry, Mister Sinister. Uh, so next up is Nightcrawler. So uh, <laughs> Nightcrawler, uh, he very famous. He usually has like a rapier. So like he like has like a kind of swashbuckling mm-hmm. flair to him. So I feel like they kind of went with that angle for this outfit. I actually think this is cute. I think that this is a better like old timey version than the Magneto outfit. Mm, yeah. So mm-hmm. I think this is like, I don't know. I think it's cute. I like the play with the red, with his blue skin, the feather. I think I like it. Yeah, I, I I liked it. I just thought they they went a little too swashbuckler ish, which is like yeah, it plays into his character. But it it was it was when I saw it, it was like oh yeah, I was expecting that. Mm-hmm, okay, it, it wasn't shocking. It wasn't. It was like oh okay yeah, I've seen him wear similar things in in his own comic and some of the X Men uh, comics where. Uh, you know, they're time traveling or whatever. I've, I've seen this before. So it was like, it was just, it was one of those, oh, it's cool looking, but uh, I was expecting exactly that. Mm. Yeah. I mean, I like it. I like the, I like that half cape look to it. Adds a little flair to it. Mm-hmm. My only experience with Nightcrawler is from the movie. Yeah. So it is way different. Yeah. Oh yeah. So, <laughs> way different than the movie. so for me, it's cool. Cause it's like, oh, it's different, but I, I guess I'm wrong. Well, no, it's, if you if you if this is the first time you're seeing him, yeah, it looks cool. But yeah, yeah. Like, I can see what Dave's saying about like 
this is it's not that it's bad it's just this is what you kind of expect when when you think ah, fashionable I see. Yeah, yeah. uh fashion way because i mean there's so many other routes they could have taken like they could have played up on the demonic aspect but obviously he doesn't like doing that uh or yeah. you know a couple other this other ways also reminds me of um like if you were at the met gala that um mm-hmm. is that guy Lil nos oh yeah Lil nos he X. would show mm. up in something like this except it'd be like half half the fabric but yeah, yeah but yeah, <laughs> yeah. Like, that's just like <laughs> Kind of reminds me of that, so I oh, can yeah. see yeah. this at a gala for sure. Oh, yeah, so Nightcrawler, yeah, yeah. Uh, pretty cool. Next one up, uh, Professor X. Uh, <laughs> so uh, he's he's been out of a wheelchair for a while, um, but he's been wearing the helmet all the time now. Like it's a portable cerebro ever since he's been on the island. Uh, I like was taking a side side note from the fashion aspect of it, Dave. What have you what have you been feeling about Professor X in the latest X Men column books and whatnot? I've been I getting like a like weird him. vibe. I don't like him either. I don't like him. He's getting, he's getting he's up to something. No, yeah, he's like he gives us such <laughs> totally evil vibes. Yeah, yeah, it's giving me the creepy vibe. And then not, you look at this, and it good. feels like in his head he's like, "I'm a god," and like that's what he's yes. trying to portray. So it's yeah. like even creepier. And it's like, oh, yeah. okay, Whitney, what do you what do you think? I get like I don't know. This is really weird, but like embryo vibes, <laughs> oh, like really? like mm-hmm. the weird okay, like. Yeah stuff on the arms and legs i don't know mm-hmm. it looks very like celestial i yep. hate that the like i don't know if this is intentional or unintentional but that the background and his suit are the same color so it looks like he's a splendid like i don't know i think that's just the photo but yeah that's just the photo yeah. when he's with when he's in the Krakoa, it'll yeah. have crazy backgrounds whatnot i think the funny thing that cracks me up though is if you take just like his chest up it looks like he's wearing a bunch of chains yeah like, he's like, like two chains yeah. you know <laughs> professor x in the house i i kind of felt like he like he he was like exploring some kind of deep-seated desire to want to be an astronaut yeah <laughs> or or yeah I, I just this this one was just when I saw it I was like Ew. yeah <laughs> yeah this is I don't not, like him not yeah and and the one piece white jumpsuit on an old guy <laughs> and like let me uh, tell you I don't know about white that. is not forgiving you'll see it <laughs> <laughs> it'll be there yeah yeah, <laughs> yeah. so yeah, yeah. boo boo on Professor X uh, yeah. next up is Wolverine this is our last of the men. Uh, very similar to Beast. I was I was surprised. I I, I think because mm-hmm. uh, I was looking at pictures of Domino as well. She also is wearing a similar outfit. So maybe it's one of those things where X Force is like the security, so they're all wearing tuxes as security people. So maybe maybe that's just something that's happening that we didn't know about. But yeah, very similar to Beast, other than he doesn't have shorts. So again, very basic. So I mean, but in the end, I wouldn't expect Wolverine to wear anything crazy. No, but wouldn't have that been cool if he did? <laughs> Could you imagine them trying to convince Logan to be like, dude, yeah, come on, put this, on a dress? <laughs> yeah, this was this was really boring to me. This was like, oh, you slapped a suit on him. Oh, and then, of course, you have to give him the bolo tie. Yeah. Which drives me nuts. Um, I just, the, yeah, I, I, I was like, yeah, this is, yeah, skip. <laughs> I can move on. I can't tell, like, it would be cool if this is what it is, but, I mean, it is just could be the drawing because it's all black but if it's like a full suit that's like his feet and everything's connected i think that's kind of cool because it looks like it just is like almost like a jumpsuit <laughs> 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 with the bolo tie i think that would be kind of <laughs> cool but yeah it, again think... it is basic and it's apparently yeah. shiny yeah yes. like <laughs> everybody is shiny yeah, yeah. instead of, they don't have leather in krakoa it's just all neoprene <laughs> plastic or something like that yeah, yeah. it's that's okay. funny so yeah, that was the, the uh, end of the men. Uh, like I said, not too crazy. I think the standouts we can all agree on. Colossus was a good one. Iceman was very like crazy. Mm-hmm. And then uh, other than that, it's been kind of costumey slash basic type mm-hmm. of thing. So so yeah. now we go on to women. Yeah. I think the women really, I mean, I, I think that's staying true to Met Gala as well as usually the women stand out a lot more. But of course, we got to start off with Emma Frost, which this picture is really small, unfortunately uh sucks but she not only had one she didn't have two she had three outfits Mm -hmm. which is the most emma frost thing of all time to do so emma frost in the comics to give you some context babe uh she's like the ice queen so like she you know she her skin turns into diamond uh she you know she's one of those like rich ladies she's like oh darling don't even get me started like type Mm -hmm. type of people so of course she would show up in like Mm -hmm. three three outfits so i don't know if you can see them separated i don't know what, what, what you think of them I think it's sweet. I like it. 
Um, it, very Met Gala to have something that you take off as you go. Lady Gaga, I think, recently did it in one of the last few galas where she, like, had, like, four. Oh, jeez. Yeah, it's very... <laughs> yeah, and the women, they do, they come to shine. Yeah. So, mm. I think this is awesome. I love the giant fur cape. I think that is cool. And then yeah. just to be like, whip it off mm-hmm. layer by layer. I think it's good. I like it a lot. I like the headpiece, too. Yeah, what do you what do you yeah. think, Dave? As somebody who's read Emma Frost, the, definitely definitely uh, fit the character. Definitely a gala type uh, dress or dresses. Uh, definitely, I like the bold with the with the uh, with the big fur fur coat. Uh, but again, with this one, just because this is like something I would have expected out of Emma Frost. Fully but is would that have a expected. bad thing? Oh. Uh, well, when when. when when we get to some of the other ones, I would say I would say yes because some of the other ones shock me. Yeah, that's and true. and with her being such a like a fashion, such high fashion, like I was just expecting a, a little more. I, th- I guess she went a little more with the fact that she has three dresses. Yeah, <laughs> she's gonna dress three times. Uh, and and it, like I said, I did like this. I did like the second one, but it was just again you ex- like she's not like with everybody in the room. She's not the one I would gravitate to because I would expect it out of her. Mm. see to me i like to me this is a showstopper like i think emma frost like you were saying people are there to shine she's always gonna she's never gonna get out sean like i see what you're saying well about, she like, can turn the, her turn her skin to diamond you know and like not... i think having her skin in diamond would like even <laughs> yeah. amplify this a lot more it's kind of like ice man where he uses the ice as like a, yeah. a magnified so i i think this is really cool from emma frost and like i think i agree like you, this is something you'd see from her throughout the comics not just for the met gala but at the same time that's just because that's the type of character emma frost is and then they've yeah. always experimented with her fashion and, and her costumes and whatnot so yeah. uh i i think this is a really cool one from emma frost so uh next up uh is jubilee uh so i can't you, you have to remind me dave does she ever does she have her powers right now or what, is she a vampire yeah. still or what's happening she's still still well last i last i checked <laughs> she was still yeah. a vampire <laughs> Uh, raising a child and uh, has her powers, yeah. Okay, so the one thing most people will know Jubilee from is the 90s cartoon when she was like a mall rat, uh, you know, type of <laughs> yeah. type of character, big jacket and all this stuff. So it's, it is interesting to see Jubilee as a, a full-grown adult now. Uh, mm-hmm. But babe, what do you think of this outfit? I think it's pretty. It's very sophisticated, classy, not overdone, not under whelming like it's just like in that nice middle ground mm-hmm. like maybe not met gala but definitely a nice fancy no i could see this at the Met. oh gala. yeah okay yeah. yeah but it there will be gowns like this there where they're not the lady gagas too mm-hmm. right so these you mm-hmm. know and i picture that too like the lighter parts of it is probably some sort of like metallic so it would kind of sheen in the light kind of giving it almost like a sunburst effect I think it's pretty. Mm. Yeah, but I do I do enjoy the fact that they have aged Jubilee because I think that's the one cool thing that doesn't happen very often in comic books is characters actually growing up. So I think the yeah. fact that they've had some characters go from, you know, teenagers who don't know what doing to now a sophisticated adult and like able yeah. to showcase that is really cool. And they, they do have a couple other ones in this in this list that do that as well. So yeah, Jubilee is pretty cool. Uh so yeah, speaking of growing up, we have Kate Pride. So mm. uh for context for Whitney and everybody else, so most people know her as Kitty Pride or Shadow Cat. She was notoriously the youngest X-Men. She, everybody always treated her as like the little sister type and whatnot. So recently what they've been doing in Dawn of X and, and X, new X-Men era is she's actually changed her name. Like, don't call me Kitty anymore. Call me Kate. And she's trying to, you know, establish like, I am an adult now. Uh, she leads the Marauders. She globe trots and fights, you know, like anti-mutant criminals all the time. Uh, and yeah, they're really trying to push the whole like uh, older, older vibe from her. And then, uh, so yeah, this is what they've done for Kate Pride for her uh, Hellfire Gala look. So what do you think, Whitney? Um, it, eh, eh, I'm, yeah. not a, I'm not a big fan. No. no, really? I think it's okay. Um, I don't think it's special. No. Like, I don't know why. I just think that it's too asymmetrical. Like, if you did, like, a little bit of asymmetry, but they got, like, the two different arms, the two different hem lengths, the two different shoulders, and the hair is all one, and then just whatever's on her face. I don't know if that's, like, a part of her 
I think it's just makeup. Yeah, and like, I don't know, the boots being so, I'm just not a fan. I think take off the boots, cut the sleeves off, it's a totally different look. Oh, yeah? Okay. Mm -hmm. Dave, what do you think? Uh, I wasn't a fan of this one. Uh, Might have been a little bit of my dislike for her character (laughs) creeping through. But, uh, you know, I think I I agree. It kind of had that piratey vibe a little bit, but at the same time, kind of reminded me a little bit of... uh, um, what the witches wear in, in uh, his dark materials. It, it just, yeah, it just, it did <laughs> not really stick it. It was like, when I saw this, it was like, you're trying too hard. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. See, I think it's the opposite for me because I like Kate Pride so much and like her <laughs> new thing that I, I, I thought this was really cool and really fun. Uh, mm-hmm. I like the fact that the the hair piece makes an X. So, you know, you have the whole X Men thing going for it. And yeah, I don't I'm know, on, like, I'm on t- I'm on Team Colossus on this one, so she can, she <laughs> like can I don't I don't think this is my Team favorite. Colossus. Yeah, okay. I don't think this is my favorite look, but I do I do like it. I think yeah. I think it's nice. So we'll we'll all agree to disagree. <laughs> uh, next up, we have Magic. So Magic, uh, for context, um, has a lot to do with Hell and like Limbo and whatnot. So she always is trying to like you know the, usually in her costuming and whatnot is usually portrayed some sort of devil aspect behind it. And so obviously they continued on on with this outfit. She's also Colossus's sister, um, mm-hmm. and yeah. So she's and, and as her name implies, she has a lot to do with magic and like like she she hangs out with Scarlet Witch and like that type of stuff. So Whitney, what do you think of that? I think this is so cool. Yeah. Like, I can't exactly tell what it is that's like, if it's just like a sheer fabric, but I like that it looks like flames. Mm-hmm. I like the black jumpsuit underneath. I'm into all of it. The straight across sleek hair. I love it. I think this is very cool. It's like a bit avant-garde. It's very chic. I like. Toot. Dave, what do you think? I one of, This was it wasn't my favorite. But it was it was close. I think Whitney nailed it. A lot of the aspects of it are just interesting. I, I was wondering the same thing. It was like, oh, the flames is that is that like you said some kind of a, a sheer cloth that I'm looking through, or is that some because she does have that magical you know ability? Is it something that she's just doing you know with her powers? I don't know. This one definitely got my attention when I saw it. Mm, I also really like the horns, like the fact that they look yeah. like they're floating. So like. Really yeah. amplifies the whole magic aspect of it while mm-hmm. still playing on the whole flame motif and devil yeah. motif and whatnot. Yeah. So yeah, really cool, really cool for magic. This is yeah. very Megala. Yeah. Very yeah. well done. Over the top, but not ridiculous. Like yeah. very well. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So moving on. Uh, next up we have Marvel Girl, aka Jean Grey. So this is uh yeah, Phoenix. Uh, I mean you've seen her in the movies a couple mm-hmm. times. Uh, so yeah, what do you, what do you think of this? Oh, her pow- powers are uh, telepathy, telekinesis. Yes, I know. Who so, she is. Yeah. Okay. Sorry, just making sure. One of the few. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Again, this reminds me of Cyclops. Just looks like a superhero outfit. I could see that if you took away like, the really big... long train. Yeah, if yeah. You took away the train. It would, yeah. yeah, and yeah, yeah uh, kind of looks like poison ivy. Like if it was. Like a poison ivy super suit as yeah, well. Yeah, New Fifty Two Poison Ivy had a suit that was very similar to this, where it didn't show skin; it showed it had like a black uh, layer underneath it. So yeah, very similar. Also, now that you mentioned the superhero thing, it reminds me a lot of '90s uh, with the with the at least the upper half reminds me a lot of the same structure as the '90s outfit as well. Dave, what do you think? Yeah, I I agree. When I saw this one, I was like, other than the you know the the, the long flowing train behind her, it, it kind of felt like a like a, a superhero suit. I don't know why, I, I don't know what it is about her character. She's had two or three costumes where, because they've changed her costume a lot, yep. especially color variations. And I've always liked the green. That was the only thing that stuck out to me. It was like, hey, I like that. I liked I liked the green. Other than that, it just looked like a, a, a regular, you know, superhero suit, ready to go to battle. Yeah. That, other than the, the long train yeah. fall, flowing behind yeah, I mean, similar to Magic, though, I do enjoy the headpiece that it's floating, because, again, it's kind of mm-hmm. pushing the whole, like, we, we are mutants, we have powers, we can mm-hmm. we can go a little bit extra when it comes to that type of stuff. So, I mean, it'd probably be annoying to have to, like, telekinetically hold that all night, but <laughs> I mean, it's just yeah. powerful enough, it probably wouldn't be too big of a deal. But, no. uh, yeah, I, I, th- I like it, I think, more than you guys do. I think it's not too superhero. Like, when you look at, at Cyclops' outfit compared to this, like, Cyclops, you look at it, it's like, that's a superhero outfit. This one, I feel like you could probably get away with, like... A little bit less superhero-y. 
But I, I totally disagree. Okay. Take off that train and the floatingness. She even has one of those bands on the forehead that, like, Wonder Woman. Yeah. Like, it's... They're very old. <laughs> totally. Scarlet, yeah. Like... All the old superheroes And, have. like, I don't mm-hmm. know if she normally has the red and red hair with the green, like Dave is saying, but that's, like, to me, I think of Poison Ivy or, like, the Little Mermaid. Mm-hmm. It's just, like, kind of done for mm-hmm. me. Okay. Yeah. Fair enough. Mm-hmm. Okay, moving on. We have Mystique. Uh, so yeah, Mystique, really cool. Uh-huh. Uh, I mean, she has the whole shape changing ability, so you could, you could play on that. And she's always had like a weird skull. I mean, her name is Raven. So she, they've always kind of had like yeah. a witchy vibe to her as well. So Whitney, what do you think of this? Very cool. I like this a lot. Um, I typically gravitate to more like kind of spooky, punky kind of like looks anyways. So I really like this. Mm-hmm. I don't know what's going on around the neck and the arm but i know i like it <laughs> <laughs> i like that whether it's her because like i do know enough about her i know she does change her skin so if that's like her skin texture in spots or if it is just like a fur garment i think it's cool i think it's really cool yeah there was definitely a very raveny vibe to it that mm. i really like this was one of my favorites um very bold color scheme matched it, it just yeah, yeah i i really 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 like this one mm-hmm. and i think it, it it shows a point about what you were saying about asymmetry because like you were saying is that mm-hmm. um kate pride had too much this has only a little bit but it's still like enough to be mm-hmm. eye-catching and and um yeah it's done the right it's done in a well a good way right yeah. like it's not yeah. oh it's asymmetrical because it's all asymmetrical it's like oh no i have one cool sleeve and that's it mm-hmm. yeah so yeah really cool for mystique so Moving on, we now have Rogue. So this one, I didn't know how to feel about it. I think it leans, like, I feel like the upper half leans towards, like, um, uh, like what I think when I picture, like, Paris fashion, you know, type of thing. Where, like, seeing, like, a rich woman walking down the streets of Paris or New York or something. Mm-hmm. But then the bottom half is just kind of superhero-y. Mm-hmm. So I don't know what you thought about that, Whitney. It, 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 it does look a little pedestrian. Like, I agree. I could see this like at a, at a mall like you know it's not <laughs> it, it's not um like an event wear for me it's it, it's just slouchy boots like you don't wear slouchy boots to an event you wear nice boots <laughs> i don't like it i hate the hair too yeah yeah i this was real basic I, again i felt like you know even though it's a little dressed up it looked like a uniform that she might wear at some point. Uh, didn't like, yeah, just, there was so much about this. I didn't like, I was, I was just like, it's not bold. It just, it just seemed like she kind of revamped one of her costumes and showed up at the gala. <laughs> I mean, it does make sense that like her and Gambit are a couple. Cause like they both just kind of threw, like phoned it in. <laughs> type of thing. Yeah. So they, they were matching well, at least in that aspect. Yeah. 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 It was just, and I agree. The hair bothers me that it just, yeah, I, the hair not... to me is an homage to the '90s cartoon, so yeah. I could kind of see like, oh, you know, give her, give her the old big, big '90s, almost '80s hair. You know, I can see that, but yeah, other than that, it's just kind of, yeah, it's kind of meh. See, it, yeah. if you were to take off her weird little bodysuit she has on underneath, I think that'd be way cooler. Oh, with just I, skin? Yeah, show a little mm-hmm. bit of breast. It'd be sexy. It'd be way more pushing the limits. I think that would have changed the whole look. Hmm. Interesting. Mm-hmm uh okay so moving on we now have psylocke uh yeah so i don't know if do you remember um uh man what movie was she in age of apocalypse or apocalypse sorry x-men apocalypse mm-hmm. it was um olivia munn was psylocke okay never mind she doesn't remember at all <laughs> but anyway so psylocke <laughs> is usually uh portrayed as ninja-esque like she she is japanese i'm pretty sure um but that's uh, her her so her a little bit of background She's British. Okay. And at some point, her mind got moved into a, uh, like, basically an assassin in Japan. And her name, her actual name is Kwan. Oh, okay. Uh, and they've, yeah, hopefully I'm pronouncing that right. Um, recently, they've actually, they, they dabbled with splitting them. Okay. Because you've got Psylocke uh, now now as you know psylocke and the other one is now in excalibur but at one point um they, they're basically one and the same person mm-hmm. 
But I think I think currently they're separate, is what you were saying. Yeah, they're currently yeah. separated. Yeah. Okay, so yeah, this is Silox. What do you think, babe? I think it's pretty. It's very romantic. Um, has that very feminine. Yeah, to me, like it's like the red one we saw earlier. I don't remember who that was. <laughs> but uh. It, oh, Kate Pride. Yeah. No, 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 no. The one with the off the shoulder, long, more. Big train. It doesn't matter. Anyways, there was another <laughs> one that was like, you'd see it at a gala. It wouldn't be the standout. So it's not like basic, like the last one was. Oh, okay. But it's not over the top. So it's just pretty. I like the flowers. I think the flowers are really cool. Like um, sash, I guess you would call it, or what, 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 yeah. accent piece. I don't know. Yeah, something like that. But I think the flowers are cool. What do you think? Yeah, Dave? I, I mean, I th- I thought it was interesting. I, I, wasn't one of my favorites like it didn't really stick out but it wasn't you know like a lot of the guys stuff that was like really bland mm-hmm. i kind of felt like they leaned a little too much into her cultural background to just go hey if we just do something similar like this it'll look crazy and different to most people looking at it like i thought they could have been a little more bold with it and and that's what i was expecting out of this was maybe some of the more uh you know boring or reserved characters to have you know, to shock everybody with a little something more. This was, it was nice, but it really didn't stick out. Mm-hmm. Okay. So yeah, middle of the pack for Silox. Next up is Polaris. Uh, so this is actually Magneto's daughter. She uh, is usually, she, a lot of green. A lot of green is her motif. Um, she also has the power to metal bend, kind of like Magneto. Uh, and I think you were saying, Dave, she also has like some telekinetic ability as well. Yeah. But uh, yeah, yeah, this is Polaris. So what do you, what do you think, babe? Uh instantly i'm reminded of the jetsons <laughs> like yeah. that cartoon it has that like call. futuristic but like the pointy feet like the just that like and it looks like bubble wrap like i don't know what it's yeah. supposed to be <laughs> <laughs> like maybe she's still in the bathtub her hair is slicked back and it's like bent around her i don't know i'm not i don't like it it kind of reminds me of in rupaul's drag race when they're told like hey make something crazy using whatever you can like this garbage you can find and then like they just wrap bubble wrap around themselves mm-hmm. it's like it's fashion yeah, yeah mm-hmm. Type of thing. Mm-hmm. <laughs> dave what do you think i would fully expect uh that this this look and professor x's look would come out of the alien spacecraft to ask me to take them to my leader yeah <laughs> yeah that was the vibe of god i felt like they both dressed like it's like they they went and dressed together mm-hmm. <laughs> it just it, it didn't didn't work for me i agree it kind of looks like is it bubble wrap is it something else i don't know what it is mm-hmm. uh i was too lazy to do my hair i just <laughs> it, it, <laughs> just climbed out of the shower i i don't know it, it just this was just like me yeah i think me. it would be cool if in the comic they reveal it's made out of metal or something like that, where it's like, oh, she she used her powers to like form mm-hmm. a dress out of metal. It would elevate it at least a little bit, but from this picture that we can base it off of, it just mm-hmm. looks like yeah, something random she she tossed on. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, next up, we have Storm. So Storm, uh, I was very personally, I was disappointed in because when I hear Storm, you know, you think Queen of Wakanda. Uh, she's gonna have something crazy, elegant, and whatnot. I do love the lightning looking, like the storm cloud looking cape. But I think this leans a lot more toward a costume as opposed, or like a like a superhero costume as opposed to fashion. Uh, but I but like I do love the storm. Like I wish this is what she looked like just in the comics because I think this is an amazing costume. I just don't think this is Met Gala fashion. Whitney. Uh, I agree. Not knowing too much about her, again, just looks like a bit of a costume. I think the thigh boots are pretty awesome. Um, the chest piece is cool. But, again, to me, I also just get, like, super super suit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. T'Challa, where's my super suit? <laughs> <laughs> Dave, what do you think? Um, I actually quite like this one. Okay. Uh, again, I like the, uh, the the cape is awesome. It was uh, harking back to kind of their, her 90s. 90s late 90s costume that she had but it's kind of like dressed up a little Mm, um so i can see the comparison of going like okay this looks like something she would wear but i just i don't know i just maybe it's just the stance i don't know she's just like she she's she's just 
absolutely showing her kind of i get this air of like authority and like look at me kind of kind of vibe from it but yeah i mean i can see the similarities to some of her uh you know previous costumes the fact that this could be just one of her superhero suits that she's running around in uh but there were some aspects of it uh, i agreed Whitney, I, I love the boots idea. Mm-hmm. The, the the cape is awesome. Uh, I, I like this one, but again, not my favorite. But I I did actually quite like this one. I think this is a similar situation to Emma Frost, in my opinion, where it's like they always bring it and they always have those looks <laughs> and whatnot. So when you hear Matt yeah. Galley, you think, oh, they're just gonna knock it out of the ceiling, but then it's just their regular level. It's like, oh, it's still really good, but yeah. you just expected more. Is the is I the was thing. I was really hoping with her that she would have had the return of the mohawk yeah that would have been sick uh like really long flowing mohawk that she's had which would have been you know made it made it a little different but i can still see the similarities in the suit mm-hmm. that would be cool yeah yeah but yeah i do i still love that cape though like i think yeah that cape is be, sweet i mean it'd be so hard to draw all the time but <laughs> I, think, I think it'd be great to keep keep that aspect of it but yeah i i do i do love storm it's just yeah this side i was expecting a little bit more uh so last i believe is last is x23 aka the new wolverine uh so this is uh wolverine's clone daughter uh, again, another character that we've uh, seen grow up throughout the years. So, you know, started off a teenager, now is trying to go into more young adult area. Uh, supposed to, you know, she's a badass, but still, you know, whatever. Mm-hmm. Uh, I like this a lot, but I'm curious what your opinion is, Winnie. Oh, I, I like it. This, though, is so Gen Z. Like, yeah, that's very true. It's, <laughs> like, you can tell she's younger. The, like the way the choker is that goes up high, the little bit of skin on the side, you know, the thigh boot with the little bit of skin, and the this just and like has a bit of that moody teen look. I think it's really good though. I love the ombre on the train, so it's black at the bottom and going up into the navy. Mm-hmm. Uh, I just think that this is really nice, and like this is a good example of like a simple hairstyle, but when you have something that looks so good you don't need your hair to be wild like whereas the slicked back bathtub one it was like so bad but this was so good <laughs> yeah dave what do you think yeah I, I i mean this was one that i looked at and i went okay it's her costume but they like they took the elements of her costume but then made it a dress and it was and it's really cool mm-hmm like i i really liked the, the like there's simplicity to it but there's also some some very neat aspects like i like the fact that you know one side's longer than the other you get to see the you know the thigh high boot kind of thing that she's that she's got going on the the choker the hair is very simple but i, I agree it's it works here mm-hmm. uh for, for me i like the fact that she's you know shouldering a little bit of shoulder she's she's got the you know the long gloves on i i really thought this one was well done in the sense of taking a taking the costume and turning it into a dress that was pretty cool. I yeah. like I like this. Yeah, I agree with that a lot. I think that this one, to me, for like the women's wear, is the one I'd most likely see on a young like you know mm-hmm. pop star who's going to the Met Gala right now in in like real life. Like this is mm-hmm. the most akin to like our trending fashion right now. I think, including the claws. Yeah. <laughs> no, I, like I think that would be so dope though if somebody went to the Met Gala in real life with claws like yeah, that. Yeah, that'd, that'd be really be cool. cool. <laughs> But no, I like this one a lot. It screams like my 14-year-old niece, though. Like, she yeah, yeah, would... Yeah. <laughs> she had to dress up. That's what she'd wear. Yeah, very true. Uh, so, yeah. So, the women's fashion, I think some highlights were X-23, uh, Emma Frost, at least for us. Uh, yeah, a couple couple really good ones, and then some mm-hmm. really weird ones that were unnecessary. So, there is a bunch more. Uh, do you guys want to do a really quick, like, yay or nay you guys go through them, or are you kind of good with the fashion? I, I would like... I would like... If I can, if I can point one out, Rachel Summers. Okay, I see. I didn't like Rachel Summers at all. I didn't include. That's why I didn't include. Hit, hit, hit it up. Hit okay, it up. I'll I'll see if I can find. Basically, the daughter of, the daughter of uh, Cyclops and Jean Grey, but in like an alternate timeline. Mm-hmm. And at one point, she was she was captured, and forced to basically hunt down other mutants. Mm-hmm. And she was a hound, so. The the outfit she's wearing is very reminiscent of uh, of the, the the outfit that the hounds wear, except they dialed it up to like twelve out of ten. <laughs> and then she's even got the pet. <laughs> 
the the thing that's on the leash those things actually wear people's skin <laughs> okay because that's hair for sure that's a leash made out of hair yeah that's a braided ponytail that's mm-hmm. uh, okay it's wild yeah but it's like kind of cool like i'm Is kind it? of into it yes in it i don't remember what so there's happy. like this older um you, uh, this uh you'll know the uh, horror show with the guy with the spikes in his face oh uh, hellraiser. hellraiser yeah that that total that mm-hmm. look but i love yeah. it it also has madonna vibes like total the, the madonna. muzzle the and, muzzle like, everything oh, the muzzle. Yeah. oh yeah and like the shoe lady gaga like this is actually so i, I would yeah i like it i think it's cool and i think that's her I, long hair in the back that's yeah, I yeah. Think it's cool I like Th- it. this was this was my favorite <laughs> I think just it's, because yeah. it was so out there yeah. and and so like even though it's it's very reminiscent of her character like her old character when she first came into the comics it's it's like dialed way up um <laughs> i just i i loved it i love the fact that she's got the the little pet and i wish i could remember their names but they're basically these these creatures that would uh, basically kill people and all that would be left is their skin and then they would put the people's skin on oh, <laughs> and run around. it's just it was great like great. the reasons i didn't include this one uh is because one she's a little bit less known and two yeah. i didn't like it at all i thought this was super like <laughs> extra 80s 90s type of yeah. like, costume type of thing like but me, i think this that's why it's so good yeah oh yeah. my yeah. gosh i don't get yeah. fashion <laughs> yeah <laughs> Yeah, I that's, think, though, that, that's, like, the best part of fashion is when it surprises you. Like, mm-hmm. when you're actually, like, whoa. Like, the one we all liked with the flame skirt. Like, mm-hmm, that was mm-hmm. so unique, and it surprised you. And that's why I liked it, right? This yeah. is ridiculous, and it surprised yes. me to see a ponytail leash. So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, for sure. I, I, what, what stuck out to me with this one right off the hop as well is the fact that this is that, like, high fashion, non-functional look. Yes. <laughs> like, How does she you pee? You only <laughs> see this at a gala and nobody's wearing it. Yes. Yeah. No, that's fair. That's fair. Yeah. So maybe there's a bunch more that you would agree on. So let's let's. I'll as far as as far as basic, you know, basic looks, but I like the I like the the outfit. Mm-hmm. Um, Havoc was another one that 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 I I like the look of it. it wasn't uh, wasn't super um, super crazy or or out there. I just like the look of it yeah well oh this is havoc here oh okay or not not on the screen but i'm pointing to whitney oh do you want me yeah. to just look through here yeah go I ahead i like this one okay uh Dakin. Dak- no, no no sorry again oh we're you're looking, not looking, we're looking at a side yeah. screen uh i'll pause it when we get there uh again see this is what i meant by the whole domino thing mm-hmm. is i think the x-force is um is uh the security because they're all wearing very similar outfits now that we've paused and looked at them all uh frenzy i can't make it go faster this one's terrible yeah this is just nothing it looks like an elf like from lord of the rings okay so this is this is havoc (laughs) uh this is havoc Uh, this is the one dave was talking about yeah i just feel like dave's just a big havoc fanboy and that's why he likes it what do you think that's fair that's a fair that's a very fair statement i think it's kind of cool um I know, like, the the style, like, the look that it's going for, kind of like a long robe over a trouser. I think the cool thing around his shoulders is unique. Not knowing anything about him or why that would represent him. It's just cool. I don't know. It's not amazing, but it's a definitely a cool guy's look. I, I will, like, now that you're mentioning the whole, like, things around his shoulders, it's actually very similar to his costume. And I think this is similar to... Uh, X twenty three, where they kind of took his costume and tried to made it fashion. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So I can I can see that I can see why you would like this. I just think I just don't like havoc. So it's like I'm like whatever <laughs> about it. Mm-hmm. Uh, so next up, uh, Karma. Uh, next up after that, this is the one Whitney was talking about. Dave, I think this is a newer character. I think she's from um, uh, Araka. Okay. So her name's Cora. Yeah, not- not not familiar with yeah, that. Yeah, she's one. in a rock in uh which is like an alternate reality type of situation, but her power is she's like a soul furnace. So like she okay. she uh you can see her chest is open there. Yeah, I thought she that, has that like was a, cool. Uh she's able to power up other mutants and other oh, okay. other power beings and whatnot. So This yeah. also gave me a very futuristic, like kind of Jetsons like that like 
I don't know, like the little bob, the slick white boot, very future look to me. I thought it was just really cute. Yeah, but it, but like it's fat, it's future. But I feel like this is a future one that you actually like, as opposed to the other yes, future ones yeah. seemed a yeah. little bit more cheesy. Yeah, 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 for sure. Uh, Kid Omega again, more uh, security guardy. Uh, I, f- I find it interesting they have Kyle in here. So Kyle is North Star's husband. He's not a yeah. mutant. So I mean, nope. it's interesting that they would include him in here. But I guess they just kind of like you know married into the family type of situation. So mm-hmm. they yeah. they kept him in there. Uh, Loa. Mm-hmm. That's cute. Uh, Madrox. What? <laughs> what's with the crotch? Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> they gave him like um, uh, what's uh uh, hammer pants? Yeah, uh, harem pants. <laughs> pants. Yeah, what you doing? it's odd. Yeah, this to me was like because if you look at like when they first started superheroes, like back in the fifties and sixties and whatnot, this is the type of outfit the like, original villain would wear, mm-hmm. and like it's super like just extra and ridiculous. <laughs> Like, yeah, I'm not a fan. And what's with the mask? <laughs> yeah, I do. He, he thought he was going to a masquerade ball. Yeah, yeah, it's it's very weird. Uh, next up is Manifold. So he's he's Wakandan, um, and it kind of has a Jimi Hendrix vibe to it. But this is kind of like yeah. what I was thinking, like, for, for Storm, is, like, incorporating the whole Wakanda aspect to it. Mm-hmm. Like, I guess Storm isn't married to Black Panther anymore, but I feel no. like she could have, like, incorporated something. As opposed to just a costume, she could have incorporated something like that into it. But... I think that this is really good. Yeah. This is really good. And for, like, when we were talking about the, some of them showing their chest, this is a good way to do it. Because it's actually, like, just that subtle little bit, but with such a statement jacket. And then yeah. it's not just a plain slack. It has a detail. And then gorgeous shoes. I love this. Mm. What do you think? Of, do you know Manifold, Dave? Yep. Yep. No, I like the I like the little comment that was next to his next to his uh, legs there about uh, uh, not wearing gateways, <laughs> cast <Cast-offs>. hand me downs or <laughs> cast offs. Wait, or whatever. what what hand me downs does gateway have? He wears a diaper. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <What>? <laughs> yeah. No, I I agree. I thought it was like if he wasn't wearing the jacket. Okay, it would just be kind of similar to Angel and the rest of those guys. Like just just hey, look at my look at look at my bod. With yeah. with you know very boring pants, the jacket really makes the whole thing. That's true. Yeah, but this, yeah, no. this might be my favorite men's look. Oh really? Yeah. Better than Colossus? Maybe yeah. Really, yeah. I'm so surprised. I love Colossus. Yeah, it, I mean Colossus was good. It was I just like this more on a fashion level. Okay. Yeah. Okay, moving on. Mastermind uh, again, yeah. kind of going for like that weird Victorian era type thing. Yeah. Uh, Mercury, I think Mercury is really cool in the fact that, again, it's, like, very much focused on her power aspect of it because she's, like, made out of liquid metal. Okay. Yeah. So the fact that she's able to manipulate her body to it show, like, like, different colors. like an color. oil spill. Yeah, yeah. and, like, it, it's something <laughs> cool like that. Um, but, yeah, oil on water type of situation. It was a pretty neat effect. But yeah, very cool effect. And I think, it, like, I mean, it is basic because it's just her. Yeah. But uh, I think the fact that they did use her powers to, to show this is really fun. Uh, Mirage, aka Danny Moonstar, uh, Moonstone. Wait, what's her last name? Uh, Moonstar. Moonstar. Okay, yeah, that's what I thought. Uh, so yeah, definitely playing on her Native American. This this again kind of like it reminds me of what they kind of did with Psylocke, where it's like you were saying, where it's like they did the easy route of like, oh, what's her heritage, and just kind of yeah, did that, I'm wrong with that. It's like I feel like they could have elevated it a little bit. Uh, yeah. Or am I wrong, babe? I, I don't know. It's just cute. Like yeah. it's nice. It, it it's very. To me, though, like, I don't know anything about her, but it, it, it doesn't look like a super huge event. It looks a little casual. Okay. Uh, we also have Monarch. So <laughs> I, I don't know what's going on with this deal. Yeah, I, I had to look this guy up and go like, who? <laughs> what do you think of Monarch? It's like they forgot to color him in. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, Monarch has mm, reality manipulating stuff, so I guess he could make himself look like this, but it's just so random. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, then we have North Star, uh, kind of basic, randomly vampire. I don't know what's going mm-hmm. on with that. Yeah. Uh, Penance. Uh, yeah. Eh. Pixie was interesting because to me, usually Pixie is a lot more like um, I usually portray her more in my head more as happy-go-lucky type of situation. But this, they kind of went with a way more darker look to it. Mm-hmm. 
which I thought was interesting. Yeah, it's pretty. I like the dark on the wings. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. It, because usually their wings are light too, so making mm-hmm. the wings dark as well. Mm-hmm. Prodigy was interesting. This to me is Little Nas X because yeah. this is something he likes to do the gender bend thing a lot. Yeah. Uh, so this this to me was a lot more that. Uh, yeah. So I thought that was interesting. Does he always have wings? Uh, no, the wings oh. are no. uh, addition for him. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's very cool. Very. Um, uh, what's the. Oh, shoot. It's escaped my mind. But. Okay. Uh, yeah, it just has that, like, kind of Roman look. Yeah, Greek, Grecian. Yeah. yeah, Roman. Yeah, I see that. Uh, Pyro, another, hey, look at my abs. Uh-huh. But this time, yeah. it's a little bit covered. Uh-huh, yeah. Yeah. But, but yeah, behind the beaded curtain. Yeah. <laughs> Which, to me, honestly, this is, again, very Met Gala, though. Yeah. I would see this. Like, yeah. I feel like this would be done. Again, it's like the nicer like fitted trousers so it doesn't look like a pajama pant a nicer mm-hmm. shoe showing a little ankle i like it the thing that cracks me up about this is like where pyro is in the comics right now he's kind of like on a bender so this to me looks like he woke up in a bar he's like oh crap we got that party i'm just gonna grab the beads off the wall and, <laughs> and, go, and go type of thing so it kind of cracks me up that way but yeah it, it's not bad uh then we're back at rachel summers mm-hmm. which i don't know what's going on there uh <laughs> Uh, we got Richter, uh, kind of basic again, kind of green arrow. Yeah. Sage. Yeah. Uh, she's kind of like, always has kind of like a, um, uh, she's like a professor or something. Yeah. She, she kind of has that feel to it. Kind of like matrixy type Mm -hmm. of, type of look, type of thing. That's Uh, just okay. Just okay. It has a pouch for some reason. Uh, Sebastian Shaw. Uh, I didn't know he was in a wheelchair. When did that happen, Dave? Or did you know? Him? I yeah, I haven't I haven't been following uh, Marauders as closely as I had. I think I only read the first three or four issues. But uh, yeah, I was quite surprised when I saw this. I was like, oh, an eye patch and a chair. Uh, yeah. What what's what what is going on? I, I don't know what what was happening. But this one was definitely when it, when I saw it. Uh, once I got past the the shock because I didn't know what was going on with the character. This is like exactly what he would be wearing yeah so Sebastian <laughs> There's Shaw nothing different than yeah about this. for context babe Sebastian Shaw is usually wearing like what you would expect in like the 1700s 1800s like um uh rich person to wear kind of like the, the rich people really collar yeah Pirates of the Caribbean rich people from yeah. Pirates of the Caribbean yeah powdered mm-hmm. wig type of situation so th- yeah. this this to me looks like um future general uh returning from the war type of thing i don't know it's uh it's i'm not a fan it's whatever yeah uh yeah. this is ariana grande right <laughs> <laughs> yeah <laughs> i actually don't know who this yes. is dave do you know who celine is uh celine yeah she's the uh she was uh uh did you ever read the series necrotia she mm-hmm. could she can bring um certain mutants or or had brought suit certain mutants back to life oh, okay so they were like undead not like undead zombie like, but undead, but alive. Oh, is she the vampire. And she can lady? she can suck the life force from him. She just recently killed uh, um, the bad version of Captain America. Oh okay, yeah, yeah. She's like she's usually like a vampire type lady, right? Yeah, she's kind of like a she's like a vampire, but she doesn't you know traditional fangs or anything like that. She just she has the ability to just with her hands she can just suck the life force out of you. Yeah. I get that vibe from that. But I love the Ariana yeah. Grande ponytail. <laughs> yeah. I get very dominatrixy, especially with the cross. Yes. <laughs> like, mm-hmm. yeah. 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 So very interesting. Uh, Sunfire. Uh, again, I don't know what's with the uh, uh, hammer pants, but. <laughs> I don't know. I don't mind it. Uh, and then you have Sunfire or Sunspot. I always get these two mixed up for some reason. Yeah. I like I like the idea again. This is this one reminds me a lot of like his like costume. I mean, his costume is just him black. So like yeah. the fact that they have like the the added color to it kind of helps add to it. Uh, yeah. but other than that, it's kind of very. I think basic. this is a good example again of a well done asymmetrical look mm. where it's not like over the top, kind of cool. It's just like neat. Okay, uh, and now we're into sync. I don't know what sync's doing. <laughs> A lot of drugs. Yeah, that like it looks like he's a pimp. Like <laughs> yeah, and the psychedelic jacket that 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 was that was pretty crazy. Cumberbun. Yeah, and a cumber. Yeah, cumberbun. This reminds me of like to me this is something, maybe I'm super wrong, but would Kanye wear something like this or am I super off? Maybe I don't know. Like, it wouldn't surprise me to see this, but it's just not doesn't mean it's good. <laughs> yeah, I know. 
Yeah, so very random. And then you have Warlock. Warlock just a, a funny guy, so of course he would show yeah. up in a bow tie. Uh, best, best costume. Yeah, <laughs> it's literally just By him far. with a bow tie. <laughs> yeah. And, and nicer hair. This is him with yeah. his nice hair. You should see what he normally looks like. It's great. Uh, Warpath, I don't know what they did with Warpath. This is... What was with the shoes? I Yeah, why are they pointed and up? I don't know. That's I don't know. That's shoe style, though. Yeah, but Warpath would yeah, never just, wear that. Yeah. I yeah. don't know. It's all wrong. <laughs> it's very weird. Yeah. And like it, it and the, the the mask makes him look like a uh, a Bruce Tim character from like Batman the Animated Series. <laughs> like I don't know what yeah. he's doing with that. Uh, and then yeah. finally, our last person we have is Wiz Kid. Uh, yeah. You know he's not. He's fine. You know it's just a red suit. So. Eh. Yeah. She says. Yeah. So yeah, that was our our Hellfire Gala run through. Uh, Whitney, in general, what do you what do you think of the mutant fashion? I think I. It was cool. Um, my favorite was definitely magic. Very cool. Mm. Um, I, I think that some were kind of too... I think there was a lot of just too uh, traditional super suit looks. Mm -hmm. Like, kind of they could have gone out of the box more. Um, but there were some really cool ones that were, like, very unique. And that were out of the box, so... But could have been more, but it's a really cool idea. I think it's a very cool way to like do a mashup for comic books like to bring in maybe a different types of people like me yeah a different demographic like mm -hmm. are you interested in to read the comic book now at all no <laughs> <laughs> i think i think it'll be nice because i mean this is interesting because it's kind of just it's like the pictures of everybody you know and just in a white background i think it would be interesting to see a lot of these outfits yeah in context especially like standing next to each other and whatnot and yeah. like you know they're all or at the, the gala at the gala yeah basically yeah, yeah at the gala i think it would look really cool yeah but uh I... dave, dave what did you think of the fashion uh like i said i i mean there were a couple that really got my attention some that i was very disappointed with because we're just it, it seemed like they they just mailed it in mm -hmm. um uh, a couple a couple that I would I would almost say like oh I hope they just adopt that as their superhero suit yeah. <laughs> going forward uh, but you know all in all I think you know the ones that's that that I, I thought really were out there like I said magic um, you know Rachel Summers some of the other ones that were really out there I, I really enjoyed seeing those ones um, the rest of them were just either nice looking you know costumish uh, looking dresses or, or suits or they just look like suits yeah <laughs> so it was kind of eh. but i i did find that the, the the ones that were like bold and really out there were kind of far and few between mm -hmm. and like it did it did kind of make me sad that most of the guy ones were either suit or six pack mm -hmm. like, like yeah. i mean i mean admittedly the guy's fashion isn't that crazy most of the time but like the fact yeah. that most of them were just six packs were just like eh. mm -hmm. you know yeah yeah. But yeah, thanks for joining us, Whitney. We appreciate your fashion critique or uh, um, expertise on this matter. Mm -hmm. yes. uh, and yeah, next time Marvel does a fashion thing, we'll make sure to let you know. Yeah, cool. Thanks for having me and have a good night. Yeah. Thank you. S see you in five minutes. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so yeah, that's the fashion aspect out of the way. So the other big news that's happening uh, with the Hellfire Gala is the fact that... Uh, why is it not working open with photos okay the other big thing that's happening in the hellfire gala is that they're announcing uh the main the new main x-men team uh yep. which is pretty big uh, so the team so you, like i said uh you and i sat down a couple issues ago and we discussed who we thought where we should be on the x-men team so i had mm -hmm. storm pixie emma frost colossus elixir beast and multiple man and then you had Wolverine, Nightcrawler, Colossus, Storm, Prestige, Polaris, and Sunspot. Mm -hmm. uh, so the only person I don't have on here, uh, in the picture at least, I think is Storm. That's a, confirmed for the team, I believe. Uh, but yeah, this the team. Or let me, let me, maybe I'm. I got the wrong image. Yeah, no, that's the that's the right one. I don't I don't think Storm's on the team. Okay, no, I was wrong then. Yep. So the new team that Marvel announced is Professor X, Marvel Girl, Sunfire, Sync, Cyclops, Wolverine, X slash X-23, Rogue, and then the one that the fans voted in was Polaris. So let's start yeah. with the one that the fans voted in. So did you vote for Polaris? No, I did not. No? Who did you vote for? Sunspot. Sunspot. Okay. Uh, yeah. So he got basically, yeah. Basically. I, 
Yeah, I, I, I felt like I wanted to see somebody graduated from the, uh, you know, New Mutants to X-Force to the X-Men. Like, yeah. finally make the, you know, the, 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 the A roster. Yeah. But instead of be, I mean, I mean, Polaris kind of fits that as well, a little bit. Well, Polaris has been around since, like, uh, the original X-Men with Jean Grey, Cyclops, Iceman, uh, Beast, and Angel... Uh, she was actually, uh, her and Havoc were two of the first additions that came onto the team uh, prior to the X-Men going to like Wolverine, Colossus and the, and, and the rest of them. So she's been around a long time. She's been on and off the team. Like, I don't mind the character. I just, I, yeah, I was just, it, it was not the the one that I, I would have had on the team. I think if, if you would remove some of the other regular mainstays then it wouldn't have been so bad because that would have been like hey you've got some some old school x-men here but uh it's not your usual old school x-men yeah like the fact that marvel girl and cyclops are on the team really downgrades it for me uh because i mean they're on every x-men team and maybe some people will argue like oh but like you have to have the classics at least a couple of the classics and whatnot but my my, in my head like and we talked about this before i feel like they've had their time in the sun and it's time to just move on and move into new people but i will admit they did have a couple surprises for me like i i I didn't know who sync was so i was very really 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 uh really happy about that because it was new fresh good character that that you know we can we can they can explore uh he's got an awesome power set yeah very interested to see how how that works out yeah and then the other one i was really surprised about was rogue because i feel like for the last uh a long time rogue is never on the main team she's always just you know on a side team like x factor or just hanging out with gambit in general so i was surprised to see her on on the main team and again and the other part that i find really weird about rogue is that her and sync have very similar powers like not exactly yeah. the same but similar so i find it interesting that they would they would include her on the main team. What do you think they're going to do with Rogue? Yeah, I was uh, like, I, again, I think the three that I could have done without entirely for sure were Cyclops, uh, Rogue, and and uh, Marvel Girl or Jean Grey. Um, I mean, even though if Cyclops is not leading the X-Men, I don't know what he's doing because he just has no other hobbies. <laughs> he has nothing else to do. Yeah. So, like, but I could I could have done with all away with all three of those. Can, can I live with the, you know, the uh, X-23? Yes, because it's Wolverine, but different. So I can, I, 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 can, I can buy into that one. And it's a different character. It's a young character. Okay, fine. Polaris, if Polaris was the... The throwback to the old the old X Men, sure, leave her on the team. If you would have replaced the other three, I was kind of hoping that instead of Professor X, they would have gone kind of off like off the the regular path of saying like, oh, the leader of the X Men's got to be Xavier or it's got to be Magneto or like if they would have just picked like Acolyte or, <laughs> or just like somebody different that would have shocked you a little to go like, okay, that that person's leading this team mm-hmm. because uh you know again with them all being pulled together and and now kind of essentially all working together to some degree it would have been interesting to see them bring in a different leader that maybe wasn't even necessarily known in the past as a good guy yeah um i was really happy about uh sync or sync like i said that was awesome an awesome choice uh sunfire even though i was really kind of rooting for sunspot I like Sunfire. I think they've always just done a crappy job with him. <laughs> like, yeah. just not not really doing a good job with him at all. Um, and again, he's been around since, you know, way back uh, to the original um, giant-sized X-Men that introduced that new team that was coming in with Colossus and Nightcrawler and Wolverine. Uh, he's, he, you know, goes back as far as that. But again, he's just a character that's been, like, on the team for a heartbeat, gone again yeah and and so hey great character you can bring in you can explore you can you can you know really dig in there but the the, i think they should have never you know got rid of professor x and just got rid of the three mainstays that and just really shook it up yeah 
Yeah, I mean, that's the whole point of Dawn of X and House of X and Powers of Ten was that it was supposed to be this huge transition shift for the mutants. It's the mm-hmm. new new era of mutant dumb and whatnot. And then the fact that they had all the villains on their side, like they could have had this crazy team where they had like, even Magneto on the team, in my opinion, would have been pretty crazy, but they could have had Apocalypse on the team. Like that would have been insane. Yeah. Or they could have had like, like so well, many. Okay, different... what if this team was led by Mr. Sinister? Dude, <laughs> I mean, the one thing I will say about that is it would have been sick, but nobody in the world would have trusted that team for anything. <laughs> like, <laughs> like the Avengers would have been like, okay, if Mr. Sinister is in charge, we're burning that place to the ground, you know, type yeah. of thing. So I can see why they would be hesitant to have a villain as like uh, the leader or like the face. But if you had like a like a a, a person who's kind of like in the middle villainy when it comes to that like if they had yeah. like you know toad or somebody like that level of villainy i feel like that would have been way more interesting than than the other ones and especially like again they got people to vote and understand democracy and polaris won in the end but there were so many cooler choices they had in yeah. in that like armor would have been super interesting or even even yeah. Like like you were saying, like having a new mutant like Cannonball step up would have been would have been yeah. even more interesting. So I, I definitely think like it's it's a lot more basic than was I was expecting, but in the end, or what I was hoping for, but in the end, this is kind of what you expect. Yeah, yeah. It, like I said, I was I was expecting there to be uh, a, a little bit of uh, you know generationally, if you go through, there were going to be some members in there. Um, I felt kind of double, you know, almost triple dipping with. You know, uh, uh, Xavier, um, uh, Jean Grey, and Cyclops was kind of like, oh, you know, like <laughs> too rooted in the originals. Um, you know, Rogue obviously is a is a character that's pretty well known, um, especially from the '90s. That's when she really, really started taking off. Uh, but again, I, I feel like there's just been too much. Like she's she's had a lot of spotlight in the comics yeah. over over the years. So I thought there was a chance to just like get them out of there. You know, if you got to have an original X Men, like why not have uh, Beast or Iceman? Yeah. You know, like if you really felt like you needed that and that that aspect, um, I, I just really felt like they had an opportunity here where they nailed it out of the park with like Sync, uh, bringing in a, a different you know different character that they haven't utilized like Sunspot. Okay, uh, or sorry, uh, Sunfire. Okay, Polaris. Okay, I can buy into it, but I think just the combination of having like the rogue, the Cyclops, the Jean Grey, and Polaris just really like I, I just I, I wasn't I wasn't a big fan. Mm-hmm. Um I'm curious to see what the you know X twenty three does on like the main the yeah. main team. Um but yeah just I'm kinda like looking at the roster I'm like fifty fifty. Yeah. Yeah. I yeah. feel that too. Uh, I'm a huge fan of X-23, so I'm glad she is is on the team. I'm also glad they did give Wolverine a break. <laughs> They're like, he's yeah. one of the most... I mean, obviously they have a Wolverine, but like it's not Logan. So it's like, give him a break, let him just chill. Um, but yeah, obviously it, it is nice that X-23 is getting the time in the sun. Um, the one thing, uh, looking at this team that I don't... I'm curious about is how it's going to function in the comics like what kind of missions they're going to take on and who they're going to face and whatnot uh Mm because if you look at their like structure they have a lot of like like i feel like a lot of long range people in the back but they don't have a lot of front line like i guess sync could you know steal and sync and rogue could steal somebody's powers and x23 is really durable but they don't have like that colossus type of guy who's going to be kind of your meat shield so yeah and and that's where i kind of felt it was redundant like you got sync and rogue yeah yeah it's weird that they had both like, I like, wonder yeah. what the thought process behind that was. I think maybe if it's, like, you think the main people they're going to be fighting against are other super-powered beings, like, Rogue yeah. can like, de- uh, de- uh, uh, incapacitate them while stealing their powers and Sync can borrow their powers and fight back. So I guess yeah. maybe, like, that's why they were thinking that way. But, like, I just feel... And again, like, uh, speaking of, like, double-dipping, like, why do you have X, uh, 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 Professor X and Marvel Girl? They're both telepaths. Yeah. Like, I don't think you need two telepaths. Like, it just, yeah. it just seems unnecessary. So, yeah, some hits, some misses. Uh, yeah. It's it's interesting when you look at our our lists. Uh, you, I had none, nobody I said was <laughs> on the list. Uh, at least you got Polaris. Yeah. Uh, but, yeah, no, definitely definitely less for me. Uh, but, yeah, what, uh, so that's that's our kind of our breakdown of Hellfire Gala. Do you, are you looking mm-hmm. forward to the event or what do you, what do you think? Yeah, I'm looking forward to to seeing it. I'm looking forward to seeing the next comic. I mean, you, you know, it might it might surprise you. Um, 
looking forward to seeing uh, you know at least a little bit of new blood in the, in the comic they got a, a fantastic uh, artist picking it up um which uh, i'm very excited about uh and writer as well so you know let's just see where see where it goes from here um like i said the only thing i was looking at was you know with all the x books they have <laughs> out right now um there was an opportunity here to say look you know if you want your wolverine he's got his own comic you know if you want these other characters they're in x force or they're in x factor or you know wherever they are here was an opportunity to step up and say we'll give you you know one or two familiar faces to make you feel comfortable but other than that we're going to load the team up with people that maybe you've seen before but now you're going to see a lot more of or people that you don't know nothing about yeah and and really take the x-men into a new era yeah which they only kind of half did so yeah yeah. so we'll see where it goes uh thanks everybody mm. for listening uh again you can if you want to see all the fashion and whatnot we'll have a link in the description you can click on to find an article with all the pictures or you can find us on youtube to search comic book gentleman podcast uh but yeah make sure to follow us wherever you found us and we'll see you next time take care